Hey guys, today we are making fish stuffed paratas. These are so yummy, you don't even need a curry to go with it. For the paratas, I have one and a half cups of plain flour, that's maida. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of instant yeast, a tablespoon of oil, I'm going to mix all this. Then add enough water to make a soft dough. I'm using hot water at about 115 degree Fahrenheit. I kneaded the dough for 5 minutes. Now I'm going to coat it with a bit of oil. And cover it. And let it rest for about an hour. Just leave it in a warm place. In the meantime, let's prepare the fish. I'm frying some onions. I'm adding some minced green chili. ginger paste and garlic I have already uploaded this recipe in my fish cutlet video I'll give the link below you can go there to find the ingredient list and measurements. Cumin powder goes in. Then some turmeric powder. And chili powder. I'm adding some tomato paste. You can also add ketchup. Salt goes in. I'm adding a bit of garam masala. And a tablespoon of water. The canned tuna goes in finally. Break all the tuna chunks and mix thoroughly. Finally, I'm garnishing it with some cilantro. Again, mix everything well.
all right i'm done rolling the dough so now i'm going to place about a tablespoon of the fish filling on just one half of the circle Don't fill it to the end, just leave about half an inch of space around. Now fold this other half over like so. And make another fold so it's in the shape of a triangle. Now use more flour for dusting and gently roll it out. We need to be very gentle here because we don't want the filling to come out. Now this uh, paratha is ready to be fried. I have a pan here on medium heat. I'm going to place the paratha on it. And just I'll cook until the one side has brown spots. I'm going to flip this paratha. As you can see it has some brown spots. And now I'm going to add some oil on the top, like so. You have to be a little bit generous with the oil. Here you go guys, our fish stuffed paratas are ready to be served. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching.